Good day everyone, I'm Phil and here we are in front of a two-story modern house for sale here in Edgewood Place, Antipolo City. Once again, this is her dream home. Alright, so let us start our house here, but please don't forget to click the subscribe button, hit notification bell, and also follow us on our social media accounts. All the links to be in the description box below. You can check also more of our listings through our social media website, which is also in the description box. Right? So now let's start our house tour, and this is the facade or the front part view of your, of this house. And as you can notice, this house or this property is placed on a corner lot unit. That's why the ventilation and the airflow is much more improved. This in this property or in every corner lot property units and so now uh, this is also a dark theme house as you can notice you have here gray tone and black tone colors that blends perfectly with each other and one of the advantages of gray or dark theme house is that it retracts sunlight much more better so kung siya ibabad sa init ng araw pagka um, daytime no hindi masakit sa mata tingnan yung property right so now let's enter this is your pedestrian gate and it will lead you over to your covered porch area so now we're here on the covered porch area but before we enter using your main door which is massive by the way let's start the outer area of your house first and yeah. so as we proceed you can notice you have here a lot of space for your fully landscape garden and also a lot of light sconces here on your on the outer area of your house and your non-split tiles which is also color gray by the way and so now let's let's tour first the outer area of your house you have here a two meter setback right and also a gate right here that will lead you to the entrance of this uh, subdivision or in Ed edgewood place antipolo city so let's enter so let's open this gate yeah so one of the um, advantages of this property is also malapit sa gate ng inyong subdivision right so now let's proceed and this is the service area so here in the service area you have here your sink your faucet and underneath is a space for your storage space for your cleaning equipments and this is where you can put up your washing machine this is where you can do your heavy cleaning activities and also your laundry activities right and also you can add polycarbonated roofing to set the space up as your drying area also so now let's proceed over to your um, two-car parking space yeah, so this is your one car parking space so you can perfectly park in here um, one car and on the other side of this you no know, right here this you can also utilize this space as your car parking space and so it's up to you how will you utilize this space up but this area this is your provision for your car parking space so you have here your outlets for additional appliances right? and also in your car parking space you have pin lights installed in your ceiling now so now we are done right here let's proceed over to the main door all right so now we are here back in your covered porch area so this is your main door which is very massive and also this is a solid wood main door with your um, handrail matte black and so very majestic ang inyong feel ng main door and also smart lock installed all right so now let's enter welcome to your dream home all right so now we are here inside of this property inside of your house and this is what will welcome us once we enter inside the firm uh, once we enter in your main door and this is your living area so in your living area you have here a tiles which is a size of a uh, 60 by 60 centimeter tiles you have here a touch of or cream uh, cream like tiles, cream tone tiles and also in your ceiling uh, blends perfectly in your flooring and also in your on white tone you have here wood tone ceiling which gives of a wood element design and this is your space for your TV table set. You have here your cabinets, open shelving design also for this place. And this is where you can put up your TV set. You have here an outlet for additional appliances. And you have here also a sliding door that will lead you to your car parking space. So now, before we proceed over to the dining area, as you can notice, you have here a door and it will lead you to the toilet and bathroom or the first toilet and bathroom here in this property you have your shower space and your tiles which is from floor to ceiling this is your toilet your bidet you have your sink faucet mirror and also floating vanity design 
and underneath of the stairs, you have here your storage area. Yeah. Right, so now let's proceed over to the dining area. And this is your dining area, very spacious. You can perfectly set up here your uh, four to six seaters dining table. You have your gorgeous hanging lights and also cove lightings, pin lights installed in your ceiling and also the same kind of ceiling as we have seen in the living area. It gives off a wood element design. And this is your kitchen area. This one, this area serves as your breakfast nook if you simply add chairs right here, not two chairs. And so you have here your countertop, um, quartz finish, and also open shelving design once again right here. You have your cooktop, range wood, a lot of cabinets for storage space. So let's open the cabinets. Yeah. For your utensils and all of them are soft close. You have your double type sink, your faucet, and your um, sliding window that gives you an access to the service area na, na nakita natin kanina. Right, so now we are done here touring on the ground floor. Let's proceed to the second floor. So, right, so now let's go up in the second floor. Now we are here in the second floor. This is where the bedrooms are located. And this area that we are in right now, this is your family area. So you have here outlets for additional appliances. Now you can utilize the space as your office area. You can add a lot of tables, add a lot of chairs and computer sets now here on your family area. Also, a uh, TV table set. So it's up to you how will you utilize this spacious family area. Also equipped with your um, full glass layout here, right here for natural light and for ventilation. And so now let's proceed to the bedrooms. So this is bedroom number one. So, yeah, so in your bedroom number one, you have here the same kind of flooring. It gives off a wood element design and outlets for additional appliances, windows for lighting and for ventilation. You can perfectly put up your single type bed or your queen size type of bed. And this is your cabinetries placed right here. Yeah, with a lot of partitions. Alright. And right here also is the provision for your um, single type aircon window type aircon and so now let's proceed to bedroom number two so this is bedroom number two it is much more spacious compared to bedroom number one you have the same kind of flooring you also have your outlets for appliances you have windows for lighting and for ventilation and this is where once again the bedrooms or the cabinetries are located and same kind of setup as the cabinets in bedroom number one and let's notice you also have here an open desk. You can put up a mirror right here. So, so this is a perfect place to uh, relax. Or that can be also your desk for studying. And this one is the common toilet and bathroom for bedroom number one and bedroom number two. So you have your shower space, you have your uh, usual niche, your toilet, your bidet, your basin sink, your cabinets and your vanity mirror, floating vanity display. Right, so now let's proceed to the master's bedroom. Yeah, so this is the master's bedroom. So very spacious. This is where you can put up right here. This is where you can put up your queen size or king size type of bed. You have outlets on either side uh, for um, lamps or for additional lightings for appliances. You have here your um, sliding windows, fixed windows for natural light and for ventilation. So right here, this is where you can set up your TV table set. So you have your open shelving design. Once again, you have a lot of cabinet for storage space. Right? And this is your uh, door that will lead you to the toilet and bathroom for the master's bedroom. But before you proceed right there, right there, let's first tour the walk-in closet. Yeah, so you have here a lot of cabinets for your walk-in closet. No, also installed with lightings. No, very gorgeous and ang sarap sa mata. No combination ng yellow light with your um, white tone cabinets, and also this is where your mirror are located. And so let's open the cabinets here in your um, closet. Yeah, so you have your um, wardrobe set, and this is where you can put up your shoes, your bags right here and yeah, so we have a lot of partitions and this is the toilet and bathroom for the master's bedroom you have your basin type sink 
floating vanity design, you have your mirror equipped with LED lights, your toilet, your bidet, and your shower space with your huge wall niche. Right, and um, let's notice one of, one of our viewers commented to check the water pressure. Yeah, so good water pressure, Malakas. Right, so now we are done touring this house. Let's now proceed for additional details. So for the details of this house, you have a lot area of 176 square meters and a floor area of 180 to 190 approximately uh, square meters. And also you have here uh, three bedrooms, three toilet and bathroom, and your two car parking space. So if you think this house is for you, kindly contact us to this number that will be shown below. Right, so once again, I'm Phil and this is your dream home.